Now that we've talked about what validation is, talk about the actual validation process and how to get started. Okay, the first thing we need to know is, if you remember from what validation is, the question that we wanna answer is, is your startup idea promising or not? And it turns out that in order to answer that question, you gotta be able to answer a lot of other questions. And this is part of the user learnings that I mentioned before, but if you wanna answer kind of that main question, you need to be able to answer a lot of additional questions. Um, let me go through some of these. These are not all the questions you need to kind of like answer, but the, you definitely need to answer these five, these always kind of come up. So the first one is who wants your idea? And you want to think about this in terms of age, gender, socioeconomic, kind of country, just like who are these people, right? If you think who wants your idea and it's everybody, you probably haven't thought deep enough, right? Um, even if you think about products that everybody uses, like Facebook, they didn't start out with everybody using them. And so you want to have a good answer for this. You want to figure out who these are and they will help you shape your um, product and help you kind of understand the type of um, startup that you're looking to build. The second question you want to be able to answer is what do they want? What are the features? How should it work? Do they want an app? Do they want a mobile app? Do they want like a WhatsApp message that they can message? There's a ton of different ways to do that and you want to be able to figure that out. Third question you want to be answered is why do they want your idea? Now, you probably have a reason of why you think they want your idea. And again, you might be much smarter than me. I was consistently wrong about this. Sometimes I thought people wanted something because it was a cheaper solution and it turns out that they just wanted a more efficient solution. Sometimes I thought it was efficiency and they just wanted a like better experience. Um, so you're going to come in with your own hypotheses. That's great. But you want to be able to kind of like answer this question and validate it. Fourth question here is how many people want your idea? So this is going to be a little bit trickier to got to get a sense at, at, at this stage, but you're going to um, get a better feel for it when you start figuring out who wants your idea. So can you get some sense of like, do 100 people want your idea? Do thousands of people? Do millions of people want your idea? Again, something you're going to be constantly figuring out, but getting an early sense of this is going to be really important. And the last question here, which I think is always really interesting, how badly do people want your idea? Um, is it an idea where they're like, must have it? And they're like emailing you about a week later and they're like, hey, I really need the thing that you talked to me about. Like, when are you gonna have it? And so you wanna get a sense of how badly people want it. And again, if you answer, or you're able to answer all of these questions of who wants the idea, what do they want? Why do they want it? How many people want it? How badly do they want it? Your startup idea starts taking shape and it gives a lot of like higher kind of resolution kind of view of what the startup idea is. It starts becoming more concrete. That gives a kind of more compelling evidence of like what the idea is and whether it's good or bad. Um, one thing that is interesting that happens if, if you are working on validating an idea and you start working on answering these questions and after a while you, you aren't getting a clear picture and answers to these, it sometimes actually means that the evidence is actually not that compelling because you don't get this clear kind of like picture that comes out so there's an interesting thing that happens is like if you start working on this and you start getting a really clear picture answers to all of these questions that probably means something and also if you're not getting a clear picture that also means something so when you're actually working on validation yes you are trying to answer the question we set out at the beginning which is is your idea startup idea promising or not but in reality in order to answer that question you got to answer a lot of these other questions so the validation process is a way to start answering some of these questions